Assalamu alaikum dear students I hope you all are fine doing well this is your food and nutrition class so first of all we will discuss what is healthy eating healthy eating means eating a variety of nutrients that our body needs for growth development and energy it means we have to take a variety of food that contain great amount of nutrients that our body need for growth development and energy so what are these nutrients there are five type of nutrients that are proteins fats vitamins carbohydrates and water first of all we will discuss proteins proteins are of two types that are plant based proteins and animal based proteins and plant based proteins are also called some incomplete proteins and animal based proteins are called complete proteins animal contain greater amount of proteins in food as compared to plant based proteins for example chickpeas contain 7 g of proteins and oats contain 11 g of proteins as compared to animal based proteins if we see egg egg contain 14 g of proteins and chicken breast contain 25 g proteins and cheese contain 26 g of proteins so as compared to plant based proteins animal based proteins are of higher amount so they are also known as complete proteins as compared to plant based proteins now moving to our next protein that is the next nutrient that is carbohydrates so carbohydrates are of three types that are great carbohydrates good carbohydrates and bad carbohydrates so great carbohydrates are that type of carbohydrates that we can eat any time and are very healthy for our growth development and energy so great carbohydrates are leafy greens for example spinach lettuce or cruciferous vegetables that is broccoli sprouts cabbage cauliflower these are all the forms of great carbohydrates berries are also a form of great carbohydrates now moving to a next type that is good carbohydrates good carbohydrates are that type of carbohydrates that we can eat sometimes great carbohydrates means we can eat it any time and good carbohydrates are that type of carbohydrates that we should take sometimes so starchy veggies for example sweet potatoes or potatoes or sweet fruits for example bananas pineapple papaya are the form of good carbohydrates now talking about the bad carbohydrates bad carbohydrates are that type of carbohydrates that we should eat rarely or never for example grains rice bread and cereals we should take it rarely sometimes or we should never take it because it is a dangerous form of carbohydrate now moving towards our next type that is sugary drinks soda juices or sports drinks are bad type of carbohydrates sugary snacks for example cookies and candies are also bad type of carbohydrates so moving to our next nutrients that is fats so if there is any type of deficiency of fats in our body we should take these type of foods that is present in our diagram so our deficiency will be completed for example eggs eggs contain high amount of fats avocados sardines is a type of fish 
they also contain high amount of fats pistachios walnuts almonds olive oil and nut butter it means all type of dry fruits contain high amount of fats so if there is any type of fats deficiency you can cover it with all these type of foods now moving to our next nutrient that is minerals so we will discuss about fruits that contain different amount of minerals or different types of minerals so oily fishes such as tuna salmon and mackerel contain omega 3s or vitamin d milk contain different type of minerals that is calcium vitamin b2 5 and vitamin b12 now moving to broccoli broccoli contain vitamin c and vitamin k spinach contain iron vitamin e and oranges contain vitamin c folic acid carrots contain vitamin a x contain vitamin b iron and vitamin e avocados contain vitamin b2 b5 and b6 now oysters contain zinc zinc is a very important mineral because it is also deficient for plant as we all know that we also uh, intake uh, plants in the form of food and animals also intake plants in the form of food but it is that type of mineral which is also deficient for plant so oysters are very important or any type of food that we eat, we are taking for the deficiency of zinc because it is also deficient for plant because it is deficient in the soil now as we have discussed our five important or major nutrients now we will discuss about junk food so junk food also contains nutrients but in a very little amount it means carbohydrates fats vitamins proteins fats all type of nutrients are present but in a very low or minimum amount but and it is very unhealth unhealthy food how it is unhealthy food because it contain high amount of calories because it contain high amount of sugars and fats and its nutritional value is very low so junk food is not healthy for our body for our growth and development i know junk food is very delicious it tastes very good but it is not healthy for our body now what are the side effects of junk food junk food makes the brain weaker the person will have learning problems if you are attending your teacher's lecture and you are completely taking uh, on daily basis junk food so you will have problem while learning or you will not understand or memorize your teacher's lecture your eyesight will be also affected by junk food and as a result you have to wear spectacles or use spectacles so these are all the side effects or harmful side effects of junk food and the major side effect is that it reduces growth and development of body so we should avoid junk food and eat healthy food which contain all amount of nutrients that we have discussed earlier that are proteins fats vitamins minerals water carbohydrates so thank you and that's all for today